making chocolate cupcakes. Chocolate, yeah, chocolate cupcakes. So I said that right. You're gonna want 40 grams of unsalted butter at room temperature. 100, where's my flashlight on? Do you know what? Don't worry about it. 100 grams of self-raising flare. It's gonna be a lot of flare. Okay. 116 it is then. In it goes. It says 20 grams of cocoa powder. Also, yes, it needs to be the Morrison's one, apparently. But that doesn't... Actually, that, that does look like a lot now that I think about it. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Uh, I don't know, it looks bigger on camera. I don't know why. Uh, 30. 31. Chocolatey. I turned on these lights, so that should stop the thing. Anyway. In it goes. 140 grams of caster sugar. Oh, bugger. Yeah, 140. And just like the others, in it goes. One and a half of baking powder, teaspoons. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Why did I just say just a half? That doesn't even make any sense. Add your butter. You might want to chop it up first because you have to whisk this. I want to melt it first. One or the other, it doesn't really matter. And a pinch of salt. Like snow on Christmas morning. Should look like this before you mix it. Okay, so you should get a sandy consistency. Now, halfway through, I had to stop whisking because the butter was clumping together. So I had to get in there with my fingers and pinch it all together, which was all right. It should feel soft, but also look a bit sandy. That's what the, well, the instructions say that it should look or feel sandy, but mine feels all soft, so who knows. In a jug, you're going to want... Sorry, I just had to take the cap off of that. In a jug, you're going to want to pour 120... Look at what that is. 120 millilitres of Le Leche. There we go. That's more like 150, but we've got more dry ingredients as well, so I uh, Kind of fix the measurements. Quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, if you don't have a quarter teaspoon, you can just fill up half a half a teaspoon like I have. And add one medium egg. Maybe I can crack an egg one-handed better this time. Yes, queen. Give it a whisk. Pour half into the mixture and then pour another half into the mixture after the first half is done whisking in. You have to whisk the first half in. Kind of like this. That's more than half. Oh, bugger. There we go. I've got to preheat the oven to 100 and something degrees Celsius, 180 degrees Celsius. So let's do that, shall we? That's this much in Fahrenheit. You'd think I remember by now. Okay, now I'll put your cases in. Check if it's done. Oh, that's a lot of smoke, smoke there. That is very liquid on the inside. I don't know, no liquids on it. But it seems all squishy. Unless they just need time to cool. Ah, yeah, bugger, how am I going to do this with one hand? This is them. I don't have any decorations for the top uh, or what do you call it? Fondant? No, not 
much wrong do that's the play icing just normal icing in general chocolate icing might need a little bit more time to cool Wait a bit longer though, because now it's all stuck to my arm. Nothing. No, I just realised something when I was taking a photo. This one has two. See? I've got two of these. We only need one. Shout out to my friend who um told their mum that I didn't press the on button on the air fryer the other day. And now their mum thinks I'm stupid. Well, stupid. Not smart. But I bet you didn't tell your mum that you didn't know how to cook a frozen pizza. Or how to cook ro roast? Rice. You know, frozen pizza, you just bang it in the oven, turn it on. Rice you put in boiling water. Now you know. Also, I bet you didn't tell your mum that you don't know how to cook, slice up a pizza, either. You know, you just go in there with your hands, don't you? Absolute 